Hey guys, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to another All Things Nerd video. And tonight I'm going to tell you the top 10 tips for beginners in Elden Ring. So the first one, number one, is familiarize yourself with the controls and mechanics of the game before diving in. Before you dive into Elden Ring, it's very important that you understand the controls are going to be a lot different. Not r super different from Dark Souls, but in these games you can jump, Dark Souls you cannot jump. Uh, same with like Bloodborne, Sekiro, uh, well actually, Sekiro, can you jump in Sekiro? I think so. You can jump in Sekiro, right? <laughs> I could be wrong. But just familiarize with self with the controls because going into Elden Ring, it's a huge world, right? And you want to make sure that when you're going up against enemies and bosses and stuff to take your time to roll around. I know it's going to sound silly, but roll around, you know, get your you want to do a medium roll. You want to do a soft roll. You know, are you just wanting to fat roll through the whole game? It's really up to you how you want to play, but get to know the mechanics of the game and get to know yourself before you jump into the world of Elden Ring. All right. Number two, take your time exploring the world. And as there are many secrets and hidden areas to discover. Elden Ring, like I said, is massive. It's it's huge. There's a lot to explore. There's a lot of things to see. And so if you haven't, just go ahead and explore every corner, everything that you can possibly explore, right? Go through the, you know, the, the edge of the ocean and go to the caves and do everything. Now, I will tell you, if you do this, be careful because you might run into zones where you might be underleveled and some of the enemies might be hard. If you do discover those kind of instances, just go ahead and come back later. Go look for another area, right? There's plenty of guides online. I did a beginner's guide to Elden Ring. I'll actually put that link in the description below. If you want to check it out, I tell you how to get the uh, the most out of your items and where you can get the uh, the early game items to help you start the game and where to go. All right. Number three, make use of the game's um, sites of grace uh, to save your progress and rest to s restore your health and stamina, right? This is very important. Uh, it's kind of like back in the day, remember when you had um, the memory cards, right? For back for the like PlayStation. And those are like a big deal, right? I mean, that was huge when you had one of those because some people didn't couldn't afford them. And I remember I had a friend, he would just have to just pause his game. But it's kind of like the same thing, right? Go make sure to take a break, sit down out of sight of grace, use your runes that you have. That's very important because a lot of times you can keep um, fighting and forget to spend your runes. Don't let a lot of runes kind of build up. Don't let like 10,000 runes sit in your uh, inventory and then you go die and then you die again and then you lose them, right? So make sure to always save your progress and make sure to always go rest at the side of grace, get your health back up to restore your flask and that's gonna make your, uh, your game a lot easier. All right, number four. <laughs> of course, like any Souls game, be prepared to die right? The game is challenging and the death is a common occurrence, right? So you will die a lot in these games, especially it's, it's just, it's just part of the game. You're going to die. I mean, no matter how good you are of a player at these games, you're going to die and you're going to die a lot. So make sure to just keep that. Remember that, right? If you die, it's normal. Like everyone else, everybody dies, right? It's part of the game. I had to die so many times just to learn a boss and you know, it doesn't matter. Like people think they get this mentality of, oh my gosh, I'm dying so much. People are going to think I'm bad. Who cares if people think you're bad? It's a video game. Have fun. Die as much as you like. And, you know, people are going to tell you, right, to get good or you're a scrub or whatever. Ignore those people. Just have fun with the game. You know what? It doesn't matter what people say, what people think of you. Maybe you care. That's up to you. You know, I don't really care what people think of me. I, uh, <laughs> I'm bad at video games most of the time. So it takes me a long time to get to know games and to learn them. So just be prepared to die. All right. All right. Number five, use the right weapon for the right enemy and learn their attack patterns. This is pretty important because, you know, a, a lot of times in these games, people will go and they will spread their points, especially like their smithing stone. They will spread them out through all different types of weapons. You can do that, but I highly recommend to pick one or two weapons you want to take through the whole game. And the reason you want to do this is because you're not going to find a ton of material to craft and to upgrade your weapon all the time, right? So you want to pick a weapon you're comfortable with and you want to stick with it. 
And what I mean by um, picking the right weapon to fight the right enemy, sometimes bosses will take certain uh, weapon types to use. So just be prepared to um, use all different type of weapons um, throughout the game to fight the bosses, right? All right, number six, upgrade your equipment and stats as you progress through the game, right? This is pretty self-explanatory. Um, make sure, like I said, this, um, to go and upgrade your weapon from time to time, you know, don't always use your runes just for spending it on, um, leveling up. You can also use them to upgrade your weapon, uh, make sure to keep, um, those smithing stones useful, right? And to make sure just to go visit a lock, you know, a blacksmith every once in a while, right? Go, go find an anvil and, and I'm thinking of Dark Souls, right? I'm thinking of Andre, but there is no... So I'm just, uh, make sure to upgrade your weapons as you go throughout the game and don't forget to do that. All right. Number seven, it's up to you join or form a covenant to gain access to special abilities and bonuses, right? In Elden Ring, you can join a covenant and it's really cool that you can join different people and which quest line you want to follow. Like in Dark Souls, you can join different covenants and they will help you get special items and special abilities. So don't forget to do that. F do some research online. You know, what's the best covenant to join? What's the best quest line to do the weapon that you want there's just, this game is so massive so just make sure to um you know find the best one that's for you because you don't want to spend your whole time farming in a covenant or a quest line and it ends up being kind of crappy but you know that's the fun of exploration right sometimes you got to take a risk to get the reward right or sometimes you take a risk and you get no reward so it's just part of the game all right number eight be careful not to overextend yourself in combat and always keep an eye on your health and stamina, right? This is really important when you're fighting, especially bosses. Bosses will take some time to learn. I will tell you, I have, you know, you will die probably 15 to 20 times if you're new to Elden Ring and you're fighting bosses for the first time. It, it will take a while for you to learn these bosses. It's going to take you a while to master these bosses. You know, every boss is different. Every enemy type is different. So, you know, die a hundred times if you have to. I mean... You play the game you, the way you want to play, but just remember, don't overextend yourself in combat. One thing I had to learn coming from other Souls games like Bloodborne, this game plays a little similar fast pace to Bloodborne, but it's a little slower. You know, it's it's very um, the combat is very similar to Dark Souls, right? So one thing I had to learn in this game is I noticed big enemies, they will take their time to attack you, so don't. Don't just rush in and think that you're just going to dodge every attack, right? Sometimes bosses, they wind up their attacks, and so they'll be swinging their sword or their axe, and then all of a sudden it'll come down, and you'll jump, and it'll hit you. And you're like, what the heck? But they take time to attack you sometimes, so you just got to learn those attack patterns. So, yeah. So just slow down your gameplay a little bit, you know, um, dodge the you know dodge the attack or whatever roll, and then get your hit in, and then step back, get your hit in. But it's how you want to play the game. So if you want to jump in and just go crazy, it's up to you. If you, But I highly suggest that you kind of take your time, get to know the boss attack pattern a little bit, and then you'll understand how to dodge them. All right, number nine. Use the game's online features to help you with challenging area boss fights. This is really important. You know, you can call in other players if you're really struggling. I personally don't recommend it your first playthrough. But if you're so stuck on a boss, like remember the original Smo and Ornstein back in Dark Souls 1? <laughs> I'm sure how many people used uh, Solaire, right, to beat him, to beat them. It's kind of the same thing in Elden Rolls, right? Uh, Elden, Elden Ring. Uh, you can use summons to help you, and it, it really helps out. So don't be afraid to use the online features to do that. Now, be wary, because some people might want to take advantage some people might leave stuff in your game that they've hacked their game and it could get you in banned or in trouble. So just be careful when going online and playing online. Uh, some people like to troll you. Uh, some people will just mess with you. So, But most of the time, you'll find nice people and they'll help you beat a boss if you're stuck. And just let them know, right? If you have voice chat, hey, I'm stuck on this boss. Can you help me beat him? I don't know what to do. And maybe even you don't want their help exactly. Maybe you just want them to give you some tips and then they can leave and go on to another player, right? You might tell them, hey, I'm stuck on this boss. I really don't want you to help me beat him, but can you just give me some tips to beat him, right? I don't want you to get in the arena with me. Can you just stay out or help me and then move on, right? It's okay to ask questions. All right, final tip. The last one, the last super secret tip that nobody knows, right, is number 10, have fun, right? 
have fun enjoy the game explore and practice all these tips that i've given you play elden ring for the first time go in blindly you know you only get to play these games blindly one time so i will tell you go in blindly have fun explore the world go at your own pace die as many times as you like it doesn't matter what other people think get good right don't get good it's up to you so anyways guys those were the top tips for new beginners in elden ring i hope you enjoyed this video if you please if you did uh like and subscribe yeah please subscribe to our channel like the video leave a comment down below if you're you know maybe there's a tip i missed uh maybe you just don't like the video <laughs> let me know <laughs> but anyways guys uh thank you and i'll see you in the next video take care